Hi, Art Seekers. We're here with Maxon in his fabulous space, One Man Show. Thank you so much for talking to us. Of course, of course. Anytime. My so, pleasure. Can you explain your roots in fine art? Well, I, I was born in, uh, in, back then in Czechoslovakia, which was a communist country, and uh, so I grew up there. Um, and uh, I lived to see the revolution and be a part of the revolution in 1989. So I was 14, 15 years old. I was one of the students in the streets making the revolution actually happen. So that was kind of uh, one once of a lifetime, I hope. Uh, but it was super interesting. Um, and so we, yeah, we made it. Uh, we uh, became free, and then in 1999, I actually left and moved to, uh, to the United States. But um, so uh, all schooling, everything, all my education, I got, I got it in Prague. So I went to an art school there, and uh, I studied pretty much kind of like a handprint and some photography and calligraphy. It's interesting that you mentioned calligraphy because your work is such a visceral expression of you, and you touch it. And you have really I, engaging I, techniques. I get inside of every painting. Yeah, so <clears throat> I work with, uh, not necessarily like, you know, I work on my paintings. I work on them like being hung up, being just resting on, 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 the, on the wall, just, or just lying flat on the, on the ground. And, in, <clears throat> you know, so with the large size paintings, when you have them on the floor, you can't really reach all uh, parts of it so I just get in I just step on it I, I sit on it I kneel on it I get right in and you can actually on some of the paintings you can see there's still um, traces of me being in it and I sweat on it and I just put everything in it every single piece has part of me and part of where it was and the moment when it was happening so they're not really just paintings they're also events not only that, yes, they are. And what I like to actually think of my paintings to be, because if you look at, look at them, they are very textured, very dimensional. So it's almost, what I do first with every painting, I sculpt it first and then I paint on it. So it's kind of, uh, for now, it's a bridge between real sculpting and painting. All the paintings, if you were to turn them um, around, there's a an image of its own on the back, kind of like a mirroring the process that I went through and the painting actually went through with me as I was creating it. So it's kind of cool. I always thought it was kind of a cool thing. Sometimes actually I do something on the back too that no one sees un uh, until they actually install the painting in their house and they realize I took it through it on the other side and actually it's like going to a different dimensions through a, a wormhole or so to speak and did something on the back, but that's, each one of them has its own little secret. Another thing that I love about your description of process is that it's a way to modernize some of the techniques of the action painters like Pollock. Frankenthaler didn't prime her canvases. I see some art brew. I see some de buffet. And there are so many wonderful references you. <laughs> that you are synthesizing um, into your own. Moving on from the process to the iconography itself, mm -hmm. how do you pick your color palette? How do you pick what is on the surface using this incredible technique? I don't really premeditate, premeditate my paintings. Every idea that, that's mirrored in every single piece here picked that for me, so to speak. Or it just comes from, it, it's not conscious. If there was an overall takeaway message that you hope somebody <clears throat> seeing this body of work would have, what would that be? To know the truth, the ultimate truth of everything, you, you, have to have to, you have to have the mind to comprehend it, to, to rationalize it, to actually really understand it. Otherwise, you either won't see it, won't hear it, and, or, and, and won't understand it, or you just go totally crazy. So that was kind of the thing behind this whole collection, is the, is, is the search and the quest for the ultimate truth. To me, the best appreciation of what I do is actually having people thinking about it, talking about it more so than just like, you know, putting down the hard cash and say like, I want it, you know. No, it's just like, if, if I see this hanging someplace in a gallery museum and they come to it and they actually, it makes them think, or even just makes them, you know, evokes any kind of emotion and, and, and a reaction to, the, to any of the, any given piece here, or the ones that I will paint in the future, that's the satisfaction I get out of it.